in the previous video i showed you a very important agent called as pandas data frame agent there is a similar agent for sql as well so in this video i'll show you how you can query your sql based databases in natch language using langchain so without wasting any further time let's kick start the video since i've already mentioned that this video is all about langchain I'll quickly install Langchain and OpenAI. Now that the installation is done, I have a secret key hidden. Since it's a secret key and I want to keep this as a secret from all of you, I'll quickly run this cell without showing you the secret key. Inside the secret key is the OpenAI's secret key. So that is all that it has. So you can also get it as well. Now in the previous example, I had a CSV file wherein I could query the CSV file in form of natural language. I've used this piece of code to convert that particular CSV file into a SQL database. So you can use this piece of code to convert your CSV file in into a SQL database. But if you already have a SQL database, then you don't have to execute this, which is where I've commented out the code. So just to be sure that we are reading the DB correctly, you will have the database as well as you will have a table. So I've created this simple function called as def read underscore SQL underscore query, which takes in the SQL query, the database, and then executes the query that we have passed in. And once that's done, it kind of prints row by row the results that it gets once the query has been executed. So I'll quickly run the cell. So let me call the function read underscore SQL underscore query now. So I say select star from fashion underscore products limit 10. So I only want to look at 10 rows of the result output and I'm passing in the actual DB name. So this is your table name. This is my DB name. So I'll quickly run this cell. So it says SQL light three is not defined. So all I have to do is import SQL light three. And finally, it gives me the result. So even in life, if you're stuck somewhere, if you're not getting the code, don't panic. Just read the error message and you would basically move on to the next piece very quickly. So that is something that I wanted to share here. Let's move forward. So here's where you would find a lot of companies trying to create a solution and all of it exists in the open source world. So here Langchain has basically abstracted out all the heavy lifting that you have to do in order to convert natural language to SQL. All you have to do is import OpenAI, import SQL database and import SQL database chain. All that's required is these three imports and then you require SQL Lite 3. Since I've already done that, I'll remove this. So not, so that piece of code is not required. So I'll quickly run this here. The first line of code, I define where my DB exists. So I already have my DB in this particular instance called as fashion underscore DB dot SQL light. So, so I'm kind of referencing this particular DB here and I'm saving it into a variable called as input underscore DB. I'm creating an instance of the large language model. So this is what I have here. So I'll quickly run this cell. Finally, in order to create an agent wherein you can ask questions about your DB in Natch language, all you have to do is create an instance of the class SQL database chain, pass in the large language model, pass in the DB that you have created above and verbose equal to true helps you understand the middle level outputs that are generated before you reach the final output. So I'll quickly run this cell. By the way, this particular instance that I've created will basically be saved into a variable called as db agent. So when you have to execute commands, you will say db agent dot run. Now I'll stick to the questions that I've asked in my previous video. But if you're watching this video for the first time and wondering what is he speaking about, don't panic. I have the questions here as well. So we'll go through every question one by one. So the first question is, how many rows are there? I am too lazy to kind of understand how many rows are there in the DB. So I'll ask the question in natural language. So I say DB underscore agent dot run. I kind of ask this particular question and I run the cell. So here it says entering new chain. How many rows are there? It kind of generates the query as well. That is select count star from fashion products. 
and this is the result. So the final result that Langchain is giving me is there are 1000 rows in this particular table. So overall, again, it's absolutely correct. And I'm still in awe in terms of how it's able to so seamlessly generate SQL queries using natural language. There are companies that are literally raising funds just for solving this particular problem. Can you imagine all of this is open source now? Let's move on to the second question. How many entries of Adidas are present in this particular SQL database? And here it says that there are 198 entries. We've already verified this particular result. So it says select count star from fashion products where brand is equal to Adidas. So again, the result is absolutely correct. The third question, how many Excel products of Nike are there that have a rating of more than four? So again, a very, very complex question in terms of SQL, something that's not straightforward. And here it's given me the final result as 12. So there are 12 Excel products. This is the SQL query that has been generated. And again, if you look at the output, it's perfectly fine. If you look at the output and if you're wondering how awesome is Langchain, then you're absolutely right. Langchain is pretty awesome in terms of generating outputs at this stage. So be mesmerized with what you're seeing right now and keep enjoying the moment as I go to the next question as well. Moving to the fourth question, give all the details of Adidas, which have a size of large and have a rating of more than 4.2. So somewhat complex in terms of query building, but I let Langchain do the heavy lifting for me. So here it's given me the query since I've mentioned give all the details. It's giving me all the columns, which is where select star comes into picture. Here is a table name Here brand is equal to Adidas. If you notice one thing very carefully, I have not mentioned that Adidas is a brand. It's automatically detecting Adidas as a brand. I have said that the size is large, so size is equal to L and rating is greater than 4.2. So entries where all of the conditions are met is what is filtered. And here the Adidas products which have large size rating 4.2 are sweater, dress, t-shirt and sweater. So there are total four entries. And uh, this is something that we validated in the previous example as well. So the result is absolutely correct. The level of mesmerization is what you would feel after this video, right? All you have done is you have kind of asked a question in natural language to a database. You've not passed in any pre-built schemas as well. So there is no uh, few short learning that's happened here or there's no zero short learning that's happened here. All you've done is you've asked question in natural language. Langchain's agent, which is related to SQL, which in our case is SQL database chain, as well as the database that you have to load, which is SQL database. These are the two things that you've done. Apart from that, everything is asking questions in natural language. This, my friend, is the power of Langchain. And this is something that will make huge inroads in the AI industry going forward. Companies will start adopting Langchain to and fro because of all the variety of things that Langchain has to offer. So this is what I wanted to show you in this short video today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for many more videos on Langchain and the developments of LLMs. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you.